Welcome to Desktop Perks. This is JR. In this video, we'll look at an essential item on the desk, and that's a cup of coffee. And today, this cup of coffee is made by a siphon coffee maker. There's a high chance you probably have never seen or heard of it, but siphon is a very popular method in Asia, especially in Japan. At first glance, it may look like something from the Breaking Bad, but it's so much more. Let's get started. A siphon coffee maker can come in different sizes and shapes. Here we have a mini siphon made by Hario from Japan. But it doesn't really matter which one you get, the basic is always the same. It has three parts, a heat source, a bottom vessel that holds the water, and a top compartment where the brewing happens. And just for size comparison, I put the heat source next to this mini siphon. It's a very, very tiny siphon that I found when I was in Japan. Very cool. A little bit of the background. Siphon coffee maker is also known as a vacuum coffee maker. It really started in Germany in the 1830s. And then inventors from France and Scotland really popularized the design and monetized it. Currently, there are two major companies that still make them, which are Hario and Yama. And you guess it, they're both from Japan. I will talk about Hario more in the future videos. However, I have seen siphon coffee makers made by KitchenAid, and they are definitely making a comeback here. As you can see from the video already, I have the heat started. Sometimes this process can take up to 5 minutes. Siphon is really about balance between temperature and pressure. As water in the bottom compartment is heated, uh, water starts to vaporize, and this vapor becomes gas which takes up space, and this will start to build up pressure. When the temperature reaches and exceeds the boiling point, the pressure in the lower vessel becomes very strong and it pushes the water to the top compartment where it mixes with coffee grounds and that's where the brewing happens. A siphon coffee maker combines immersion, which is like French press, and filtration, which is like a traditional hand-drain method, and that is why it's so unique. Another critical part of the kit is the heat source. The included burner uses an alcohol, which works perfectly fine. However, it does burn a little bit slower and it may take some time for you to reach the boiling point. Also, it requires very cautious care and handling and storage. I personally recommend you invest in a butane burner. It's very easy to operate and it's also very easy to store and refuel. You just get a butane canister and just plug it in, so to speak. Also, it heats up a little bit faster compared to the traditional alcohol burner, so that's another plus. And if you are the super cautious type, there's a third option for you, and this is the electrical heater. And it really takes away the fun because you don't get to see the flame. Um, but it is the safest method, and it also provides the easiest way to reheat your coffee some will actually offer a warming feature uh, so it keeps the water uh, the water warm uh, so you don't have to worry about you know your coffee going cold it doesn't matter which method you choose i guarantee you that you will have fun making coffee and that's the beauty of a siphon coffee maker if i could only use two words to describe the taste of siphon coffee they will be balanced and flavorful. I love the fact that siphon brings out a lot of characteristics of your beans. If you have Blue Mountain, it tastes gentle. If you have Hawaii Kona, it tastes sour. If you have uh, Sumatra, it tastes bitter. In addition, it also looks magnificent as decoration. The design itself is truly classic. It's simply timeless. It's like an old watch that your grandparents gave it to you, or a film camera that your father passed on to you. It doesn't matter where you put them, 
they simply change your environment. As a result, you can easily transform your kitchen into a cute cafe shop that you've always wanted. So we're finally getting to the point of boiling. And as you can see, the water at the bottom is being pushed up right now due to the pressure buildup. And it's mixing with the coffee grounds. Make sure you stir this in a circular motion uh, several times. And usually I would like to leave this uh, in this state for a minute or so. As long as you do not remove the heater, you will maintain this equilibrium. As soon as you remove the heater, the equilibrium state will now be disrupted and the gravity will take over and your coffee will flow back down to the lower compartment and voila, your cup of siphon coffee is ready to serve. When I was a kid, I spent a lot of time watching my mom making siphon coffee, either it's for family or for friends. It was her idea of entertainment, but to me, it was like a magic show. So the cup of coffee was always more than a cup of coffee. It was memory. So if you love coffee and you are getting tired of your routine, I would urge you to check out siphon coffee. I hope you will fall in love with it the same way I did. Thank you for watching.